Good morning. I'm Mike Garning with True Speed Communication. I also serve as the Director of Communication for Stuart Haas Racing. Up on the dais is Greg Zipidelli, Vice President of Competition for Stuart Haas Racing. Greg has some updates regarding uh, the, the 14 car today at Watkins Glen. And, and Greg, just go ahead and, and talk about some of the things that, uh, that we've decided for, for today regarding the 14 car. Yeah, I mean, we know that um, it's just an unbelievable tragedy. Um, our hearts go out to um, obviously Kevin and his family. Um, thoughts and prayers. This is a, this is a very tough, very emotional time for everybody. Um, his family, our family at Stewart Haas, um, Tony Stewart. So um, you know, with that being said, we feel that um, as a group, um, Tony will not drive today. Um, Regan um, Smith is on his way up. Um, NASCAR has approved um, for him to get in the race car today. Um, they're going to do everything they can to help us uh, expedite getting his seat and um, uh, him comfortable. Um, so that's kind of what we've been uh, we're working on this morning and, and, and trying to get executed is um, get Regan here. Um, and um, obviously uh, anything we can do for, <clears throat> for Tony and everybody else is, is it's just, like I said, it's, it's an emotional time right now. And we'll open up for questions. I will preface it this way. We're, we're going to talk about the logistics of the, of the Watkins Glen race weekend uh, out of respect for everyone involved. We're not going to just talk about last night or even our plans beyond today. So uh, we'll go ahead and, and start right here with, with Jim. If you can, state your name and affiliation, please. Jim Utter, Charlotte Observer. Greg, was this a, uh, like a SHR team decision, or was this Tony's decision? Yeah, I mean, obviously, we we um, <clears throat> we talked last night, and then realizing, you know, going through the night, um, gave Tony some time to sleep on it, and uh, met with him this morning, and and you know, he feels strongly this is the right thing to do. Um, we at, at SHR support it and agree with it. Um, it's a like I said, it's a difficult time for for, for both both parties, um, and I, I don't know <clears throat> if there's you know there's, there's there's not a lot you can do. The only thing we can do is do what we feel is right. Um, and, and this is uh, this is what we feel is right, and we're supporting Tony in it. We'll go with Dean. Uh, Dean McNulty, Toronto Sun. I know <clears throat> it might be crass to bring this up, but the championship situation, uh, Tony's a five-time champion here. Uh, was a, a great chance for him to make the chase. Uh, was there any discussion with NASCAR to make any kind of exception for Tony going forward? No, I, honestly, that is the furthest thing from from uh, <clears throat> our minds right now. Um, it's it's, you know, the well-being of, of of Gavin's family and um, and Tony and uh, and you know the people at at our our company. That's something that that uh, when we get home on Monday, we'll have to look at and evaluate and 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 you know, go through you know go through that and make decisions. Today is um, is, is all about doing what we can today um, to get through today uh, and do it the best we can as as, as a group um, and and try to do it in the right way. So. Um, we haven't even crossed that bridge yet. Alan, uh, Alan come on to NASCAR.com. Obviously, there was, there was a change in the decision, so I was just wondering, as an official or even as a friend, did you offer any counsel in, in, in helping Tony make his decision? Yeah, I mean, there was a few of us that were in there just, just supporting him. I mean, he's a brother to me. You know what I mean? He's, he's way more than a boss. Um, and, uh, you know, he's going through a tough time. It's, it's, it's emotional for him. Um, so, you know, we're, we're, like I said, we as a group um, support him. Um, feel like he's doing the right thing, and um, you know we'll, we'll move on from this. Would you have supported the DJ Warner race? I support I support Tony Stewart. <clears throat> I think I've shown that over the last 18 years. And with that, we'll wrap this up. If we could, obviously, I know there's a lot of interest in the 14 team. They have a lot of work ahead of them. If you could just please be mindful of everything that they have on their docket before that car is rolled out onto pit lane. And also, Regan has a lot going on, too, as soon as he arrives. So just uh, be respectful of that. Uh, me and my staff will, will be here to assist you guys in uh, any way, shape, or form that we can. Thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys.